Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all are doing alright today. Hope your Sunday goes well for you. Ordinary shaver, and we're going to knock out an ordinary shave today. Here's to Sunday shave. That's uh, community coffee with chicory. It's very good stuff. Alright, so on tap today, I saw. So, a buddy of mine over here on Dan, uh, Vintage Life, he was doing his uh, Vintage Colgate shave. So we're going to do the same thing. This is the shaving mug soap. He was also using the, uh, the Auto Shop or the Valet. So we're going to use this one. It's kind of arrived down here in Texas and you know, it doesn't want to leave, so we're going to use this. And to finish it up, we're going to, of course, we have to use the Pinal Clubman. It's going to be a great shave today, I promise. Brush for today is going to be the green handled Vanderhagen board. Shake out as much of that excess as we can. Brush me right to the face of the hair. Stick out even more. And we'll get started. I've got my, I've got my smug soap in my uh, ceramic bowl that I use every time I have a single puck I want to use and not dedicate it. That's what I use. Before we get started on that though, let me show you one thing. So you can still see, well you'll be able to see it, yeah there we go. It still has the Colgate mug soap on there. I try not to use this unless I absolutely positively have to. Now I absolutely positively have to. So here we go. Again, I mean just as dry of a brush as possible, just barely dipping the tips in the water. I load directly from the puck in this, in this uh, container. Okay, it needs a little bit more water. I can kind of hear it. There we go. You almost want a slurry, like a, like a, like a paste almost. Yeah, like, yeah, just when it's really, really thick, that's kind of what you want. I'm not really pressing down very hard on the puck, but I am putting pressure. There we go. So you can see what it looks like when it's loaded up. And then I'm just going to take all of the rest of this that's still very light and foamy and put this all right on the face here. There we go. We'll work that in momentarily. There we go. There's that. And there's that. Alright, so let's work this into the face kind of as I guess you could say kind of like a pre shave. Really, there's probably enough. I could probably shave with this if I had to. Alright, so we'll set that aside now. We'll get the shave started. I'm going to drop my razor into my warm water, start heating that up, and I'm going to go back into building this face lather. Just a little bit more water on the brush, and right into it. And you'll see momentarily that it will explode to an amazing light. It's hard to describe what you're looking for on a ladder like this without somebody you know being directly in front of you or whatnot. But I can hear it. I can hear that it sounds different. I can hear that it sounds almost a little bit lighter. It sounds not lighter, lighter. I don't know how to describe it. I'm not very good at that. Somebody smarter than I am can you can explain what I'm trying to say better. You can also take this soap and apply it to directly to the face, just like you do with the Williams. There we go. If I wanted to get, even, get an even thicker lather, yeah, I could do that. I could just 
load some more directly onto the puck or directly into the brush and I can go right back to the face with it. Here we go. You can see there's no shortage of lather available using this what using this Colgate. I almost said vintage Williams, but it's using the Colgate. There you go. I'll take that. A bit of coffee again real quick. Mm -hmm. Let's get this shave started, what you say. Alright. Again, I'm going with the uh, auto strap. Okay. The angle on this razor is the same as any other razor, any other single edge. You want to run this as close to the face as possible, or close to flat on the face as possible. Okay, you don't want that angle to be out like a DE. Uh, you're talking just about as flat as you can get it. Go. Now I do have a little bit of a cut on my upper lip here. It might start bleeding pretty bad. We'll find out in just a second. If it does, I got the stupid pencil sitting beside. I just love these early morning Sunday shades. Time for me and to relax, time to do what I enjoy. It's fun. Alright. There's the first pass. Now that is from a vintage or that's from a um, gym stainless blade that I cut and modified. Second pass. So by starting off with a little bit drier brush, to my opinion, it makes it easier to know how much water to add, if any, to get it to that to the lather point. It can be a little difficult sometimes, but I like to start off with maybe just as dry of a brush as possible. Look at that. That's a good lather right there. It's thick and creamy and it'll work. Yeah. Whenever anybody tells you you gotta have some of those new Uber soaps to get a good lather. 
There you go. That's simple. All right, on to our second pass now. As you can see, I'm just going slow. Taking my time where I need to, but if I need to, I can also go a bit faster too, like this. Okay, it's all about knowing your angle and not pulling the razor, not pulling it across your face, just letting the, letting the weight of the razor do the work. You know we're doing that there? There we go. Come back across the mustache area. Clean that up. Okay. Clean this up. Second pass. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I would definitely take that. That is definitely a uh, good enough for a work shave, but we're going to get another pass in. Why, you may ask? Because we can. We're shaving, right? That's what we got to do. We got to get three passes in. No. I enjoy talking to you guys. And it's a hobby, so. We can do three passes if we're going to do them. But if I can get by with doing 16 passes and having y'all watch, I'd do that too. But heck, I'd even get tired of me after 16 passes. Dab a little bit more water on it. There we go. Dab a little bit more water on the bristles. Yep, yeah, there you have it. That's good right there. It might look I'm, like I'm pressing down really hard. I'm actually not. But I do want to put some pressure on the brush to splay it out as much as I can. I'll watch Paul H's videos here in a few minutes. Uh, I hope Flash uploads a video today also. That'd be cool. I'd like to see the video from Flash. But we'll see what happens. Alright. There you have it. Third lather. Alright. Third pass is going to be across the growth as best we can. against pass on here. It's not 100 percent across, not 100 percent against. It's just kind of modified as I go. Be right back just a second. Sorry about that guys. We made it back. I don't remember exactly where I was at, so I just went ahead and uh 
re-lathered there. Finish the shave up real quick. There we go. Very well. Vintage Paul Mama is good, or Paul Colgate. This is very good stuff. Alright, there you have it. Simple, quick, three pass shave. Sunday morning shave. Let's finish this off with a little bit of Pinal Clubman. We'll be good to go. We gotta get out the door this morning. shave with the auto strap and the green handled Vanderhagen brush. Hope y'all enjoyed. I enjoyed making it. Talk to y'all soon. Great shapes. Bye.